tip number 190 in the book 501 contractor tips don't forget you can use the book as a companion guide with the videos read the book um, if you have any questions go back and watch the videos to give you some more information I, I threw the tips in there it's originally started out as a book where I was just gonna put together a book with a few tips and stuff like that and I thought hey why not why not throw some more stuff in on the with some videos give them some more information don't forget you got any questions leave them in the comment area any tips or, or comments that are going to be beneficial for other contractors leave them in the comment area as well uh, tip number 190 what are social security taxes these are taxes you and your employees pay you pay half they pay half and again these, what you, the video you're watching right now, it's made in the year 2014. I believe it's November 2014. These laws change. Don't watch this video and assume this is what you need to do. This is just kind of a video to, to give, give you an idea what's going on now. Might not be the case in the future. Self-employment taxes are taxes that they... Your, you and your employee pay together and this will benefit your employees in the future when they retire so that they can get Social Security. There's really not a lot more to this tip than that except for the tip I already stated. Make sure that you check with your local, state, and federal um, agencies and, and make sure that you're paying the right taxes to the right people. Federal government is the Internal Revenue Service, Department of the Treasury. The state is going to be whatever your state is. In the state of California, I believe I paid everything to the Franchise Tax Board and then to the EDD, which I believe was the Educational Development Department, something like that. And I think that was it. I don't think I had the only local taxes I paid was on my when I went to renew my city license. That would have been it. So that's it for that. Off to the next video.